And you said it was very hard for three years. Is yeah. there any time you want to quit or you regret trying to chase your passion, chase your dream? No, no. I never want to pull back. I don't think I, I ever get regretted. I just, because this is like a passion. You don't, you don't regret about your passion. Find another way, probably. If this way doesn't go through, you find another corner. You go this direction or the other one. You just, but the target is almost there. My name is Steve, and uh, I'm the owner of Blue Works. We uh, immigrated to, to Australia 12 years ago from uh, mainland China, and then I start as an electrician apprentice for a few years. And then after that, I think I am old enough to chase my dream to open a uh, so-called fashion shop. When you don't see not much people come into the shop, it's really struggling. Actually, it's a, a little bit uh, naive at the beginning because I can't imagine the difficulty that I will face. In my family, there is no businessman. They don't have the faith or confidence about me. But they, do, they don't pull me back either. They just uh, let me think about it through. If I really want to do it, they always support. The, the core idea about the shop is based on the workwear and then a uh, little bit of uh, uh, blazers, small casual style, but most of them is made in, made in Japan and uh, good quality. The difference between uh, this kind of uh, clothing and the fa uh, fast fashion is uh, the quality. The quality is totally different. We can wear the single piece a long time, like five years, no time, ten years, no problem. Fast fashion, they don't care too much about the environment. They pay very little to the workers, and then they earn lots of profit. Not like uh, the, the, this kind of clothing. That's why I, I really appreciate this kind of uh, brands. So at the beginning, it's really hard. And then I start from a very small brand because they're not very picky about uh, who I am. They're not picky about uh, how much I can sell. And then the people, they, they heard about me, they know me, and then they, uh, we, we hang out, and then they tr start to trust me. Bit by bit, I have some big brands. I start from uh, 2015. At the first two, three years, it's really hard. And then later on, it's uh, easier, much easier. For me, as a uh, traditional Asian, the most uh, hard part for me is the culture gap. But after after I I, I, I live here for a long time, I realized that the most important thing in, the, in any communication is uh, be be real, be true to 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 the people. Don't try to uh, fraud people. Don't try to uh, hide a lot just tell them whatever you are thinking doesn't matter which which background you you coming from that's the most uh, important base for, for human beings i think after i realized that I, I make more friends more customer trust me because they can see that i'm a i'm a real i'm a real person I think everybody can, can, can come in to, to our shop to find something that fit them. Everything you can imagine with a good quality, you probably can find something here. So if, if, uh, if, uh, if, if you guys want to know more about me, please follow us on Instagram. I hope our shop can go Thank you. I was uh, in Sarah Hills, the old address is still there. The weather is getting hot and I don't get 
too many customers come in, I can still remember. And suddenly there's a guy walking through the window. And I say, uh, would you want to come in and have a look? And he said, yes. And then turns out he bought a couple of plain t-shirts. He asked, the, uh, is there any other shop like this in, in Sydney? Because he, I think he's new, quite new. When he just moved to, to Australia, he's from Britain. That's why I think uh, he more interested about the clothing in the shop. But, but, but after, after, after that, he, he's, a, he's a, a regular customer yeah. until, until now. When I was in college uh, back in uh, China, we have an online forum. We talk about uh, workwear, we talk about uh, uh, Levi's. We talk about uh, military style items. And I think from there, stuff from there, I, uh, I saw lots of uh, new knowledge from Japan and also from America. And all the knowledge gave me inspired about uh, how, how I like to dress up myself. I think I was from my Kantai 在大学上网那就开始从那阵淘宝刚开始在大陆开始流行我开始一点点在淘宝买东西比如说每天在街上看到的人他们怎么穿衣服对每一个个体来讲 I don't want to show the people I'm rich enough to buy this logo or that logo. From my point of view is the, the quality, the style, the, 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 the fabric, the, the cutting probably is more than everything, including price range or uh, how famous the logo is. So I think the, the vintage so-called inspired uh, clothing give me the chance to, to dress up like a little bit low-key, low-profile, but also you can dress up, dress, dress up like very stylish people.